Hello, welcome to Fresh Book Show today. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to do the whole introduction. Oh, God. Yeah. Go on. Oh, okay, I'll do the introduction. <laughs> Uh, welcome to our Facebook live show today. We're so pleased to have you. Um, we're going to call it Mum's Show soon, aren't we? <laughs> it's the Mum's Show. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're live, so please let us know your comments. Say hello. We love to hear where you're from, where you're watching from. And, um, and yeah, please let us know if there's anything, anything burning or if we forget something or if something goes <laughs> wrong. <laughs> so this is my lovely mother, Noy. She needs no introduction now. My <laughs> favorite chef in the world and we have a huge show in store for you guys today so um, first up we thought we would take you along with us to our market yes. to go shopping because I think oftentimes when I'm thinking about what to make for dinner or when yes. you're thinking about you know you're thinking about it at the shops mm -hmm. so you're thinking okay that looks good what can I make with that uh, so we're gonna take you along to our market right now so have a look <laughs> at this so we've come down to the markets to do our shopping for our Facebook Live today and we're going to figure out what we're going to make, yes, aren't we? Yes. And Mum has brought her trusty uh, friends with her. Uh, Mum, what are these things? Have you seen? What are these things on your bag? You've got a koala bear and a kangaroo. You're yes. hilarious. Go everywhere. Go everywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Everywhere. Let's go market shopping. These vegetables look really yum, Mum. Yes. Um, so we're looking for some green vegetables because we want to do a, like a stir fry. Don't yes. We? So what what what's your pick here? What do you like? Uh, I like this one. Boa. Yeah. What's Boa. this called? Boa. 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 Stir fry with the. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. peel the skin. You have to peel, but this this sharp one you yeah. can't eat it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You so have you peel to peel it, it off. See, I really like it because it's similar to like a zucchini, isn't it? Yes, so that's like it. Soft. But you have to leave some. Yeah. But that the the, the the sharp end. Yeah. You have to take it all. Yeah, I love this stir but, fry that but, you make. Yeah, right? but the skin, you can keep leave some. Yeah. And the same family with uh, zucchini mm. taste, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it. Okay, so should we make this stir fry? Today? Yes, stir fry with egg. It's one of my favorites. Yes. A lot of people think that it's like difficult to buy seafood yes. from a market, but actually it's it's really easy. Seafood's the yes. easiest thing to tell whether it's fresh or not. If you're looking for prawns that have a nice firm shell, um, yep. um, the, there's not too much black around the head here. If this part is black, it means it's not fresh. So, yep. And it smells good. So yep. it's really easy to tell when seafood's really fresh. So it's probably one of the best things you can buy at a market. Nice oh, the basil looks nice, yeah. Of course, it's one of my favorite things about shopping in the market is, um, you know, being able to see all the different types of Asian vegetables that I love. Yeah. Um, but to me, um, basil is one of those quintessential Thai flavors and used in so many different dishes. Yeah. So why don't we have a look? So this, some of these, why don't we yeah. talk about some this of these basils? And kaprao. And kaprao. What so kaprao is what we use for uh, spicy stir fry, spicy, right? Spicy, yes. Um, so I love that one. And then what's this one? This one is the Thai basil. Thai basil. Oh, Sweet, sweet, sweet you tiger. can do uh, uh, like a green curry yeah. and stir fry eggplant. Uh -huh. We use this. Yes. And then this one, which is one of my faves, my is mang lak. My mang lak. And so that one is when we eat the kanong jian, right? Yes. Yeah, which I love. It's one of yes. my favorite dishes. So. But today, I think we're going to do. Uh, what do we? We're going to do pad ko bao with yep. the prawns. With the prawns. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. So we need this one, don't we? We need this one. Yeah. Yep. So and so you can. Wait, I want it, I want it. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. Mum's very picky with the, with yeah. the bunch of basil that she wants. Yeah. Of course. We love shopping down there, don't we? Yes. It's great. And Mum, what is it with you and those toys on your back? How many years have you, have you had that kangaroo? Oh, a long time. Go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you always have friends everywhere, right? Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> um, so before we get into making our dishes, and so if you're just joining us, uh, we are making, uh, what are we making today? Pad Bao Gong, which is like a spicy prawn stir fry. And we're making Pad Bao Sai Kai, so that's in Thai, but that's that green vegetable that we just saw in the market. We're gonna stir fry that as well. Yeah. So before we get to that though, let's have a chat about wok. So you guys ask me a lot, um, particularly in our live shows about Woks and what's yeah. the best wok to use, isn't that right, Mum? Yes. 
And so really, it depends on what kind of heat that you have, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Or so, different. So if you've got this kind of electric stove... Yeah, you can use this wok. You can use this wok. Yes. And so the point here is that because of the electric is flat, yes. you need a wok that has that flat yes. bottom because that's going to give you the greatest amount of contact yes. with the heat. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an electric stove uh, or a flat stove, flat bottomed wok is the best option for you. Yes. And so if you happen to have gas, yes. um, you can do. or if you have one of these little camping stove setups, yes. um, then you can use the more traditional uh, round, round bottom wok. So this is a seasoned, uh, cast iron wok and it has that round that round bottom so seasoning just means that this doesn't have a non-stick coating so uh, to season a wok make sure you give it a good wash when you get it from the from the shop yeah. um, and then heat it up uh, yeah. and then rub it with some oil and yeah. then while it's heating up that oil will sort of coat the wok so there you go I might see if there's any questions about the woks before we start cooking to see um, let's see. Hi everyone, Ariana. Yes, Mum. Don't worry, I'll get Mum a wine after the show. She's asking why Mum doesn't have a wine. Um, okay, so we don't have any what questions yet, but please type some what, you know, if you have any questions about the wok setup, just let us know. All right, so let's get on to this vegetable, Mum, because this yes. is, so this is the vegetable that we bought at the market. Yes. For. yes. So why don't what? you tell everyone a little bit about it and how we prepare it. Oh, uh, this one you can use this vegetable or you can use Zucchini, that's the same f uh, family. Exactly. In Australia. So we yes. can use zucchini instead. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So don't worry if you can't get this. Yes. Um, but this, it has that same soft texture as the Soft zucchini. texture. Yeah. But zucchini, you don't have to peel the skin. Yes. You okay. just... Uh, but for this one, this we need one, to peel. You have to... That's how you prepare. You cut top mm -hmm. and tail like this. Okay. And you... And you peel you that off. You try to get some out, you know, yeah. like that. Right? That's our this one here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like this, like this. Okay? Lovely. Yeah. And yeah. so I did look this up. I had to, I looked up wh what this is called in English. So in Thai, this is called bua. Bua, but yeah. It, the actual name is really weird. It's like Lufa Acutangula. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which. But it's you very weird. sometimes you, you can get this in Australia now. You can, you go to can't Asian you? The Asian grocer. But Asian, zucchini sorry. is totally yep, fine. We yep, often fine, make yep. it with zucchini. So don't worry if you can't get a yep. hold of that. And now, when yeah. you've got that, mm -hmm. now you have to, you, to cut it. Yeah. Just start from here mm -hmm. and you turn around yeah. like that. Then how to cut it. So the whole point, so this is something that mum just does in the kitchen, the way she cuts her vegetables for stir fries, but stir fry cutting is quite an art. Yep. Um, and l let me tell you, so just by changing that shape uh, and cutting it the way mum has, there's one, two, three, four, five, six surfaces now on that vegetable which can hit the pan, get nice and caramelised, soak in yep. the sauce. So actually, if you just cut like you know, around like that, you've only got those two yes. sort of sides. So that's why cutting it like that actually, you know, helps in the stir fry. Yes. So it's all these little details, yes. I think, that mm -hmm. make the difference. Yes, Okay. Make difference. So let's get on to, I might get this wok heating up. Yeah. Um, so we've got that nice and hot. So the whole point with the wok is you want to get it nice and hot before you start cooking. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all that vegetable um, now it's the oil. cut there. Now the oil, yeah. Put in a good oil. Yep. Put in. And if you just joined us, we're making one of mum's very special stir fries. It's an egg and vegetable stir fry. We're using a vegetable called bua yes. that we bought from the markets, but mm -hmm. you can totally use zucchini yes. if you like. And uh, uh, next is be garlic. Garlic. Okay, do we think that wok is hot enough yet? Or it maybe a little bit longer. You know I'll see if anyone's got any questions for us. Oh, Lee's saying Thai eggplant and pea eggplant are her favourites. And you know what, yep. actually that's a really good point because you could do eggplant in this too, couldn't yes. you? Yes, yes. Yep, so eggplant or zucchini are yes. good yes. substitutes for this one. Um, oh, Cheryl's saying that when they dry, when you dry this vegetable, they make them into loofers. You know, there's like, like the... Yep. Squ oh, I uh -huh. didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Uh, let's see, any other questions? How do, from Kate Lewis, she says, how do you care for your wok between uses, like cleaning and that sort of thing? So if you've got one of these just non-stick flat bottom woks, that's really easy. Clean that the way you normally would. Yep. Uh, if you've got one of these 
cast iron seasoned wok. What you want to do is as soon as you've finished cooking, um, throw some water in it and heat it up. So that will get lots of the sort of bits and pieces off the bottom of the wok. And then lightly wash it with a sponge. You don't want to clean away too much of this um, this sort of seasoning that you're getting, this colour. Yeah. That's what you want to keep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just oil it and then keep it in your cupboard. Yep. Now that's uh, that the hot now. Okay, oil. right. So we're going to add some garlic. garlic. You can now the hot now. Now I love how you uh, always sort of roughly chop your garlic for these stir fries, Mum, because yep. the garlic almost becomes like another vegetable, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Sort of a little bit sweet. Asian, they like garlic. Okay. Oh, so Verma is saying that they call it patola in the Philippines. Oh, patola, okay. Patola, this because vegetable. The, the, some Philippines, they got the uh, country same, similar mm. to Thai vegetables. Similar vegetables, yeah. Yes. Oh, that garlic smells so good. Okay. Now, uh, what next? The, the, the rest of this. This one, the vegetable. Yeah. Okay. So, mum, if you're using zucchini here, is the cooking the same? Same method. Same. same. Okay. Same. Same. Same way you're cooking. Yeah. Now, just a uh, uh, little bit water. Okay. So you're adding the water yep. so that the vegetable sort of steams a little bit. Yep. Yep. A little bit. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That smells good and nice and healthy too. And I yep. love this one because it's a really simple, um, it's a really simple stir fry that you can yep. use almost with just pantry ingredients, right? Yep. So you've got a couple of zucchinis in the bottom of the cupboard. Yep. Uh, sorry, in the bottom of your fridge, uh, and then you just these are the rest of everything is just pantry ingredients. Yeah, no, so it's really uh, simple. Fish what sauce next? Fish sauce. And, uh, so fish sauce yep. in there. Yep. And you just want a little yep. teaspoon of yep. the sugar, don't yeah, you? Yeah, just for flavour. Okay. So that sort of balances out, sort of brings out the sweetness yeah. in the garlic, and, doesn't uh, it? And white pepper. White pepper. Yep. And so you use a lot of white pepper, Mum. Why do you use the white pepper for a lot of these dishes? Oh, uh, sometimes you can serve this as a for flavour. Uh huh. And the taste of the flavour of the pepper. So you, know? you like the flavour of the white pepper yeah. a bit better. Yeah. I feel like it's a more delicate. Let's just turn that up. What keep? Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like it's a more delicate flavour than the black pepper. Yeah. Than you know, because the black pepper sometimes can be quite harsh. Yeah. yeah. For the Asian stir fry, we love to use uh, white pepper, uh -huh. not the black pepper. Okay. No. Okay, and you're going to want some eggs soon, aren't you? Yeah. Those. Now let's start to. You see all the. I mean now. Okay. Yeah. You want me to whisk this for you? Yep. Yeah. And so this kind of thing, um, actually, because we're, we're doing two stir fries tonight, and this one is very mild, very comforting, very soothing, and the other one is super fiery and super hot. So they're actually good ones to serve together, aren't they? Because yeah. you sort of get the, the combination um, balancing out. Yeah. So, so you're just waiting for that to heat up and sort of soften a little yeah. bit, aren't you? So the, the beloved garlic, you know, this yeah. one will get a nice sort of flavour. And that vegetable is starting to get soft now. It's yep. almost sort of changing shape yep. a little bit. Sort of so you can see when they start to cook, you mm -hmm. see the colour changing. Yeah. And start to, you can see that okay. when they start to cook. Yeah. You see the colour. Great. And so, um, let me see. So some of these dishes that we, we cook are always like my favourites from when I was growing up yep. and mum would make them for dinner. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your favourite childhood dishes. I know we have people that watch from all over like Spain, uh, the Philippines, the US. So why don't you let us know and tell us some of your favourite childhood dishes. We'd love to hear yep. about it. Yep. That's looking good. So you let me know when you need this egg mum. Oh, so Glad's is saying that where she is, they call it Ridge Gourd. Oh, okay. All these different names. Where, where they come from? Oh, she didn't say. Glad's, where are you from? Hopefully she'll tell us. Yes. Okay. So now you can see the colour. They start to change. Yeah. So you can and so see. you've got some of that, the water, but I think some of those vegetable juices have come out as well. Come out as they? well, yeah. yeah. So are you ready for this? Yes, the egg. Okay. Yeah. So pour the egg in. Pour the egg in, you just like this. Uh -huh. so you can see that when they start to cook, you can mm -hmm. see the egg, they, they, they can see like a, you can see like a scramble egg. Yeah. You know, you can see that. So it's almost like a, scr yeah, so it's a yeah. scramble egg. Yeah. 
This is such a healthy dish too, Mum, because you've got that protein and yeah. the green vegetable. It's such a great weeknight, healthy mm -hmm. kind of thing to have, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So you just start to eat, start to thicken great. a little bit. I'm just going to move this to here. You can see that all the, all the egg coming together now. Oh, that's looking good. Smelling yep. good too. All right, so let's, you probably need a serving plate soon, Mum. Yeah. You can see that. You don't want too much water. That's yeah. You see that the egg come together yep. now. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Let me... Is that it? Come so once that now. egg comes together, then we know we're done, yes, right? Yes, that's it. Do so you see the colour, the, the vegetable, the colour yeah. different too? Yeah, that was great. Let's see if we've got any any questions here. Let's see. Ooh, so we've got a couple of favourite childhood dishes. Anne from New Zealand is saying um, fish and chips, fresh fish just caught with steamed vegetables, flounder. Oh, flounder fish, not fish and chips. Sorry. And then we've got shepherd's pie from Elizabeth, roast lamb from Catherine. Beautiful. Yum. Okay, great. So that's that's one of our stir fries, um, and then we've got our so that's our nice, comforting, mild stir fry. Now we're going to yep. have a big, spicy, yep, wow, stir fry. Okay, so let's get these ingredients here. So what are we going to do first for our our second stir fry, Mum? We're going to do the yeah, uh, chili and garlic. Chili powder. and garlic. Okay, yep. so. We are going to use, so this is probably one of um, a really good tip for stir fries and for any dishes where you want to make um, things less or more spicy. So you've got your two different types of chilies here. We've got the big chili and the small chili. This bird's eye chili is going to be hot, isn't it? This one, if you want hot a little bit more spicy, spicy. Than, than the big one. And the big one um, is not. So this is really mild. You can literally, you know, uh, yeah. eat like a whole thing. It's like capsicum. So yep. what you can do is use more or less of these and more or less of these mm. to make whatever yes. spicy you would like yeah. okay yeah. so i want to put these you want me to put these in here yes okay. and, and the garlic and the garlic yeah yep so i'll just take these stems off and we're doing six so this is going to be one spicy number isn't it <laughs> are you going to burn your son-in-law with this one too mum <laughs> uh you could have piled it uh, yep. So you show us garlic. how. Yep. So you show us how how you want to pound because you don't you don't want to paste, do you? No, no. You no. have to powder roughly powder with the garlic first. You try to get this skin out. You know. Oh, okay. So we from get the that. skin out from the garlic. Yeah, from the garlic. You don't want that. So you see it. Mm -hmm. Easy when you roughly powder. So like instead that. of having to peel the garlic yeah, on the thing, yeah. you just pound it and take yep. it off. Yep. Take it off. We don't want it. Now you powdery, roughly chop the chili, or roughly the garlic, pound. roughly pow. Yeah. And so by doing this, so you could, of course, chop this if you want. But chop? Can you can, chop? Can yep. I say though that roughly doing chop? It, yeah. yeah. But can I say though that doing it in this actually helps to release more of the oils and the flavors and the aromas from both the garlic and the chili. So. <coughs> definitely some chili aroma <laughs> whereas chopping will we'll do less of that but of course you can you can chop as well if that's easier yep. for you turn that what yeah so let's we'll move this over here okay so this is the kind of setup we're talking about if you've got um, a round bottom I guess more traditional wok and and so the utensils differ as well. So if you've got one of these cast iron woks, you can use a metal um, spatula. And then, of course, if you've got a non-stick, you'll need to use plastic. So no, watch need, out for that too. You need this spoon. Okay, so what are we doing? You, you tell me, boss. On. Yep, okay. it's on. Uh, oil. Oil, First okay. The oil. Okay. Nice. Swirl it around. Yep. Okay, now do you want all of this garlic and chili? Yes, milk? all in the in the wok. Okay. 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 All in the wok. All right. Whoa! Yep. I love that sound. I love that smell. Yep. Oh, so good. 
Okay. okay, so we've got that. Now, uh, snake beans. Snake beans. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen snake beans before, they are here. Oops. So these long ones, yep. they've got sort of like a rough, rigid oh. sort of skin. You have to no. And then we'll just slice those up yep. like that. Yep. And they go in. Yep. Now, you want a little bit of water in there to soften those beans as uh, well, yeah. don't you? So guys, if you can't get the snake beans, no just problem, use just use green beans, right? green beans, yeah. yeah. Now for the flavour. Okay, so fish sauce. Fish sauce. Yeah. So yeah. Margaret Ann is asking, do we use any particular oil for stir frying? Oh no, definitely. I don't need oil you, you like to use. But, uh, but you would use a vegetable or a peanut yes. oil yes. or a... Uh, I use vegetable oil. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess um, you wouldn't use... Would you use olive oil? Uh, no. 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 Because yeah. I guess so we're looking for an oil that has a high smoke point yeah. and neutral flavour. Yeah. So vegetable oil, peanut oil, yeah. rice bran uh, oil. The prawn. Prawn. Yeah. So if you're just joining us guys, we're making pad ko bao gong, which is um, basil and prawn stir fry. So we've got the oil, the garlic and chili, fish sauce, oyster sauce, they're all our flavourings and now the prawns. Oh. <laughs> I love that, that chili in the sinus feeling. <laughs> Let me see if we've got any other questions. Let's see. So Corinne's asking, what heat, what heat setting do you use when you stir fry so the garlic doesn't burn? That's a really good question, Corinne. You you want to get the wok mm -hmm. really nice and hot, but you don't want to burn that garlic. No. So the trick is to do it really quick. Yeah. You want to get that garlic in and then get the next ingredient in straight away. That'll bring the temperature down a little bit yeah. and stop the garlic from burning. Yeah. Now you can see the prawn back to cook because you see that it will be pink. Yeah. Okay, so guys, what are you having for dinner? We're having this for dinner, aren't we? Yes. What are you guys <laughs> having for dinner? Why don't you let us know? Yes. <laughs> Is anyone okay. having a Marion's Kitchen meal for dinner? You guys are writing in all the time. I love when you post your photos and, and write in about all the different recipes that you're cooking. It's so awesome to see, so thank you. Um, you're going to move the wok because we're going to show you how to fly the beans? Oh, yeah, I think we're okay with the beans, Mum. Okay. That, they look they look good in there, don't yeah. they? Uh, okay, so what's next? Uh, uh, basil. 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 And you uh, that bit. So Did remember, guys, we um, we bought the basil at the market. We went through all the different basils there, and yeah, um, this is the hot basil or kapao basil. Yeah. yeah. And if you, I mean, it's a different flavour, but. Obviously, this is a little bit more difficult to find than regular basil. If you can't get holy basil or Thai basil even, just use regular Italian basil. I don't want you guys to miss out on a great dish. Uh, it's a different flavour, but you'll still get the same idea. So you can see that all the prawn fat Ah, oh, that looks so okay. amazing, Mum. That looks great. And you just want to do that until the prawns are just cooked, yeah. don't you? All the, yeah. Delicious. Let me see if we've got any other questions. Um, yes, peppers always do. They make you sneeze and cough. <laughs> it's true. And Danny's in New Zealand. It's 10.30 there. She's just had dinner and said they had fish and chips. A fish and chip. <laughs> you, you love fish and chips, don't you? <laughs> okay, so we're ready to serve this one. Yum, that looks so good. So all the recipes, guys, are uh, they're on my website, marionskitchen.com. Don't forget, if you would like to see more recipes, you can find me on Instagram, Marion's Kitchen, and also on YouTube. And you can smell catch up. Beautiful. It does smell beautiful. And you can catch up on this show anytime on YouTube as well. Yeah. So um, subscribe and you'll never miss another video. Um, now, I would like to eat some of this, Mum, because it looks delicious. So good. Mm. That basil makes all the difference. So it smells nice and too, doesn't it? It smells smell beautiful. beautiful. Oh, and that is spicy. All right, guys. So we're here every Tuesday 
please come and join us um, next week. We'd love to see you again. Um, yeah. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Ooh, they're good. That's not good. Mm-hmm.